<laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Hey, Tim. Hey, I. Happy holidays. Uh, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. We've got like Christmas and Kwanzaa and and and, and Hanukkah just passed, and I don't New Year's coming up, and I just everything. Happy yeah, it's thing. it's a it's a, a shovel full of holidays. It is. It is. <laughs> and I'm knee deep in debt. Yes, but we look, both look very festive. Good for you. Yes, we've got our little balls hanging. <laughs> it hurts without the other one. Yes, how's your jingle bells? <laughs> Look at me, I'm a model. <laughs> Look at I can recite the alphabet. A, B, one, two, three, C, F. Just look pretty. Just Thank look you. pretty. <laughs> Tim, this is our season finale today. Can you believe this? Oh yeah. my God. I know. Where this did that just, year go? This is our Christmas edition. Yes, we our are going to celebrate. On, our look back on 2021. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole entire year, we had a wonderful, wonderful sponsor. Who could that be? Uber Lube. I love Uber Lube. No, me too. A premium product that you could find on uberlube.com. Mm -hmm. Tim and I have been fans of Uber Lube. They yeah. have been behind us literally <laughs> <laughs> since we started Fifty Shades of Gay. And yeah. I am so in love with their product as you are too. Absolutely. I use their products regularly. Not and... as regularly as I would like. But... <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and Tim, when we travel now with 50 Shades of Gay, we have travel size Uber Lube too. Oh, that just makes life perfect. Yeah, yeah easy and compact. On the, on the road with and it, 50 it's always Shades good and with... Uber Lube. And it's always good when airport security checks our bags and mm -hmm. finds it. <laughs> you remember when, yeah, when, I think it was in Orlando and we were coming back and you didn't have room. So I grabbed all the, the ah! packets, a, a bag full of packets and stuffed them in my bag. And I'm going yes. to security and I'm thinking, oh my God, they think I'm just heading to an orgy of some type. Ah! That's so much loot <laughs> in my, in I my can't. bag. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fun. I yeah, and I think uh, who else took some? It was um, I think CJ. CJ, CJ our took some. CJ had her in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, love it, was, it. Yeah, we were. Yeah, and the and the the crowd they got some, and yeah, yeah. What little was there, they got some. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we of course go to Thank Florida you. to perform Fifty Shades of Gay in the middle of just as the Delta variant was spiking in Florida. Yes. And so nobody, everybody was afraid to go out. But the yes, ones that did, we had a ball. That was oh, so yeah. much fun. Yeah, I mean, there were 10 people, I know, because they messaged me um, on the website. Don't uh -huh. know who they were, but they said they bought 10 tickets, and they all started to contract the COVID. They were testing positive. Oh, goodness. So well, I'm glad they did Yeah. Yeah. But well, they did test we're, positive. We're yeah. grateful for them. Thank you for that. Oh, support. absolutely. Yeah. As everybody who's and come I, out, I mean, this mm -hmm. we had a good time this year. We really did. Yeah, yeah. And this year coming up, there's more. We've got we've got shows around the country. We are already already yeah. starting. We're um I, we haven't even announced it yet, but North Carolina. Yeah. At the Asheville Fringe Festival, we're going to be at the Magnetic Theater. I can't wait. And they just they just uh, told me too that they're going to be doing it live virtually. We're going to be the one of the oh. um, shows they picked to do both ticket Yay. sales and live virtually. Okay. So here we are, nerves, nerves. Yes, yes. Well, we've also and we've got other cities, you know, that we're going to be going to be performing at. Yes. Throughout the year too. Yes. But speaking of cities. 
What a nice segue, Tim. Uh, right? Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I am just I'm kind of blown away at at all the cities that have tuned in to to watch Loose Lips, and we are so grateful for each and every one of you. But here in the United States alone, we've there have been 487 cities yeah. that have tuned in to Loose Lips. And Insane. in the United Kingdom, we've had 115. Yes. So, That's I mean, that I, we're so grateful. Thank you, everybody who's tuning in. Germany yes. came in at 37, 37 German cities. I love That's that. Great. And yeah. France had 17 pop in. Also in Canada, Australia, Japan, Chile. Mexico and Switzerland. Uh, well, Tim, don't stop there. <gasps> <laughs> There's also Italy, Ireland, Russia, Sweden, Argentina, Netherlands, Malaysia, Brazil, India, and the Netherlands. I mean, come on. New Zealand. And New Zealand. Yes. And the Netherlands. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We are so grateful to that. That you like us. You really, yes, like, you really us. like us. I know. Yeah, and keep tuning in next year. We're going to have more guests, more fun. Yeah. Uh, so grateful, as Tim said. Uh, we never thought for one minute that we yeah. were going to go outside of the box in New York City. I mean, this is great. Oh, my God. And and the guests that we have had this year. Oh, oh my God. I love them. We have had some incredible, incredible guests. I agree. Um, do you want to list some or all or what? Yeah, you sure. Let's go through the line. Some might even be stopping in to give us a little happy holiday as a surprise. Oh, my God. I know. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back and forth. We had Carol Eda White. Yes. Jezebel. Vicky Villainous. Miss Cracker. Oh, Madeline Smith. Kobe Cole. Yes. Gary D. Robin Banks. Yes. Wendy Stewart. Yes. Francisco. Yay. Ari Kiki. Eleonora Diamond. The Fabulous Empress. Michael J. Yeah. Vivian Darling. Adam Matera. Yes. And our good friend in Philly, Jess Branis. Ah, yes. Yeah. Thanks to all these guests that came on and took their time out, promoted some of their great stuff they got coming up. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what? One of these guests is going to be coming back next year for a surprise. And I can't say, but I will tell you it's going to be pretty good. Yay. Yeah. I like good. Mm -hmm. We like <laughs> surprises. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the doorbell, Tim. Who could that be? I don't know. Well, let's find out. Okay. Happy Christmas from London to everyone at Loose Lips, Ike and Tim and Chris. I just want to thank you guys so much for all your support this year with uh, the Sheena. Can you see that? Sheena Easton Definitive Singles Collection, which was great to chat to you guys about. Hopefully I'll see you again next year. So have a great show. God, this thing is going nuts. And, um, and I'll see you in 2022. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, we had we had a really good time this year, Tim. And you know, I think about our first episode. Uh huh. I don't. Well, I don't remember. That I was will, just us, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just us. And I will. I will give you a little <laughs> reminder. Oh Lord! What when we read say? from the adult children's book. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember the title. <laughs> I don't remember the title at all. Oh my God, that was hysterical. No. That was hysterical. I'm one sure. of the books that we were supposed to read, which was hysterical, was the one, what was it again? I forget the name of the book. Do you have it? Well, oh, you yeah. to play with my ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, I am mad that you actually have it handy. <laughs> Just happen to have it. I put you have it right a, here in my bookcase. You have a copy of my book, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> it Good was for cold you. Last winter. It was cold last winter. I needed some fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other book that we were going to read, but we never did, 
was the one where the kid was having a problem getting on the donkey. <laughs> and, and it said, is somebody going to help Jack off my horse or my donkey? That was <laughs> is somebody going to help Jack off my donkey? <laughs> oh. oh, children these days. God bless. They're so wild, aren't they? Yeah, we've had some really funny times. We and have. oh my God, and Carol Eda White, when we did, because she, Carol Eda White played, what What was the name of her character? Uh, Rose, Rosie, Rosie Greenbaum. Rosie Greenbaum on, on Laverne and Shirley. She was Laverne's mm. nemesis. Yes. And so we reenacted, uh, we read a script with her where she played oh. Rosie. And we, the, I loved that. That was such a mm. highlight of the entire scene. I just had a ball with her. Wasn't that great? So fun. And and just went into it with us like yep, it was. Yep. She was reading it for 1976. <laughs> the absolute best. Oh my god, we have had a ball on this show. My we god. have, we have. Yep, and some great guests like Jezebel, like you mentioned before. Jezebel yeah. even doing. She wrote an Uber Lube theme song yes. in the beginning, which was amazing. <laughs> right. <laughs> She was great, too. But you know what, Tim? Tonight, what? we have two awards to give out. <gasps> I love awards. I know. Isn't that great? Yeah. And one of them is <sighs> the most listened to episode of Loose Lips. <gasps> right. So this is on all the platforms like iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, uh -huh. uh, Amazon Music. And the top six were episode... I believe it was 17. It was a kick-ass risky business yeah. party with Michael J. Right. And then and we had uh, episode 18, which was Strictly Sheena with Adam Matera. Yeah. Uh, episode two was right after our first episode. It was Dreams Come True with no, Carol, Carol Eda White. Right. And then our episode, uh, We're Virgins Again. Wink, wink. <laughs> and the number two most listened to on audio platform was The Check is in the Mail with Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> and the most listened to episode of Loose Lips was our episode with Empress. Empress. <laughs> What's up? How are you, Empress? Girl? How are you? I am shocked to hear that. What? The, what? <laughs> the most listened to episode on all the audio platforms. Well, I'm just sitting here, right? I'm like, okay, they might say somebody else. I feel like, you know, everybody at the Oscars and stuff, like, mm -hmm. me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Empress. We wow. were so happy when you came and did our episode. Oh, my we God. love you. Yeah. I agree. Yes, we absolutely. Y'all gotta invite me back now. You know what I mean? Uh, hell yeah! <laughs> Damn right. We would definitely be doing it, and we're gonna send you in the mail. We're gonna send you a certificate with uh, uh, everything on there that you were on our episode, your episode number, yep. and that you were the most listened to audio uh, on all the audio platforms. Yeah. Hey. Okay, 2021, come through. <laughs> 2022 is gonna be very. What do you have going on? Anything you want to share with us? Oh, okay. So right now in the uh, Madonna, Madonna journey, I finally yeah. hit the nineties. Okay, so we're in like that Dick Tracy kind of mm -hmm. old glamour Hollywood era. It's kind of cool. Oh, I um, did, I did, I did watch um, your uh, preview of her doing the Oscar performance sooner or later. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, my husband um, actually joined me for some reactions. That's new. Everybody's yeah. been like, "What pressure's on here?" Like, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> He came out. He's like, "Yeah, I'm here." So, like, he did a couple reactions. That was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> what else? So, I mean, the the page just keeps growing, and like, everybody just keeps like being amazing. Like, again, guys, I'm still shocked. Like, that episode was number one, but again, I had so much fun on there. So, <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> and let's let's definitely give a reminder, everybody: millions of views yeah. on your page on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Congratulations again. You're so amazing. You're one of our I favorites. Agree. We really I are. I agree. Uh, thank you. I love you guys too. We and love uh, you. Again, thank you guys for reaching out to me, uh, giving me that exposure as well. Like, it's, it's just been such a, a whirlwind year. So, always mm -hmm. excited. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. Right. And I, I will hit you up off of here for your address and we'll send you some, maybe some Uber lube too. <laughs> oh boy, Tim, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hit me up. I'll give you some tips here now. <laughs> for your hair, right? For your hair, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Happy holidays to you oh. and Pressure. Yes. Oh, thank you guys. And again, happy holidays to you guys too. Can't wait to come back. Part two. We're going to have so much fun. Love you yes. guys. Thank you. <laughs> we love and adore you, Empress. Mwah, bye bye. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> oh so my amazing. God. I love her. She is I just know. the cutest and sweetest and, and just amazing thing. She's just yeah. Amazing. I love yeah, her. I mean her her page is so incredible, and I love watching yes, her right? first reactions. I to know Isn't the she... celebrities that we love, right? These yeah, like so like iconic performances mm -hmm. that we grew up with, and she's yep. seeing them for the first time, and it's so cool. Yeah. And I love how she really truly appreciates those performances. She yeah, really I does. agree. Yeah, yeah, she's got a very good keen eye. Very good. Oh, very good totally, eye. and a lot of fun down yeah. to earth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that your doorbell? I think we have a surprise guest. <gasps> Who is that? <gasps> Hello, Ike and Tim. It's Michael J. Wishing you Merry Holidays and a Happy New Year to the loosest lips I know. Have a good one, guys. Tim. <laughs> let's talk about all those wonderful items we got to taste on oh. loose lips this season. Oh, my God. And tell everybody what the segment was called. It was called, What the Hell Did I Just Put in My Mouth? <sighs> and did we, I we mean, our, our first episode, we started out with Sweets by Marie. Yes, yes. Did the Cocoa Bombs, remember? Oh, we my tried them? God, those were insane. They were oh delicious. God, those were incredible. Yep. And those wicked good cupcakes. <gasps> the Ooh. ones that came in the glass jar, right? Yes, yes. They were delicious. Oh, yes. my God. And oh, oh. The one that you put me into, the Shortbread Society. Oh, my God. Were those insane? Deadly. <laughs> uh, they were so incredibly good. You could not just take a bite. The oh. Shortbread. Mm. Yes, that was so incredible. And another one that I love um, was Raffetto's Pasta. Raffetto's down on Houston Street. Oh, my God. Their pasta is insane. It's fresh yeah. pasta. Oh my I, God, I had the macaroni and cheese. I remember it was delicious. I had this mushroom mushroom yes. sauce over fettuccine. Oh. Mushroom fettuccine. It was so delicious. Oh, my God. And then we had, oh, um, lilac chocolates. I love lilac chocolates. Oh, my God. Yeah. They were in New York City, right, as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're here in New York. Yeah. Um, Candy Manor. Mm. I remember Candy Manor. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. And, and Cabot's Candy, too. Yes, yeah, yes. Candy, they were oh delicious. my god, I forgot about all the and ch the cheese brothers <gasps> in Wisconsin. That yes. cheese was wonderful. It was amazing. Oh my <laughs> god. And crumble cookies. <gasps> oh, those huge cookies. Oh yep. my god. They came in for pride. Yes, yeah, yes. Pride. And big ass brownies. I love them. Big ass brownies. Unfortunately, they're no longer in business. No. I know. And they were. They were some <laughs> they were some good brownies, let me tell you. Yes, absolutely. I'm telling you, every one of these places were incredible. Yeah. I mean, they it's it's so cool how each one has their own style mm -hmm. and type and and yeah, they were just so uh, everything cool. was a different taste. Even the candies, because we did taste a lot of candy. Yeah. But one had the the milk chocolate was so rich. It was just Ugh. like nothing you get when you go to the store to get it. Yeah. Like a Hershey's. No offense, Hershey's, but you know, it was just it was just real chocolate. Yeah, but I have to tell you, one of the things that was so that I had never had before. You, I think, had had them the year before. Were the were the the bombs? What are they called? Yes. The cocoa bombs, cocoa bombs, yes. which is like a, a round thing that you put in and then you pour hot boiling water over it and yep. it melts and turns into hot chocolate. Oh, it, my exactly. God. Mm -hmm. And there's always a little surprise inside. Like, little yes. Or something. Oh, my God. I so had the delicious. cinnamon toast crunch. Yep. So delicious. Oh, my yeah. God. They were so good. Yeah, just I mean everything. Every mm -hmm. every one of these places was outstanding. Just yeah, and you know, nice. good for them. They and they found different ways to sell their products. Like Shortbread Society has these wonderful pop up shops 
like yeah. in Jersey yeah. City. And I mean, come on, he's that's so brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where they'll they'll take orders and then they'll go to like Stonewall in Lower Manhattan, right? And mm -hmm. and between on Tuesday between this hour and that hour, and and you can stop by and pick up your your order. Correct. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's cool. amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And we have to have him on. I would love to have Francis yeah. on. Oh, yeah. definitely. Actually, he has a television show, I think, that's coming out soon. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Perfect. It'd be Good perfect. for him. So uh -huh. not only did we taste test food, but we also had some specialty cocktails. Mississippi. Yes. And we guess put a what? lot of we put a lot of stuff in our mouths this week. <laughs> Liquid too, not just <laughs> solid. And we have a famous mixologist joining us once again. She was my, just on our show a my few favorite weeks mixologist. ago. Jess Brannis. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I know. I feel like coming. I just saw you guys. Right? I, I know. We just, yeah, we said that. You probably couldn't hear us, but we were saying three weeks ago when we had you on, we had a blast with you. Yeah. And of course, Jess is going to teach me how to make another cocktail today for the holidays. And, and yesterday was my birthday. Yes, yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jess. Hey. 29. 45. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you don't look right. at it all, sweetie. 45 look good. Thank you. I'm trying. You I'm good. trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, when, when you asked me to come on and you asked me to send you another drink, I was very careful in my choosing this time. Okay. <laughs> and the reason is, um, did you tell everybody what, what you're going to be making? Nope. No, we were going to go into that. Yep. Okay. So the reason why I picked this drink is because, A, it's easy. And I know last time Tim and I were kind of like cringing when you were trying to put <laughs> having, your drink together. Ha having sex with Jess, you were cringing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I know. Isn't that awful? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> so I wanted something easy, but. You know, it, it is winter time. We're getting into flu season. And obviously, COVID is, you know, surging again. Yep. So you need some vitamin C. Mm -hmm. And also, I love the name of this yes. drink because it's the Harvey Wallbanger, <laughs> which I figured would be very appropriate for you, Ike. Well, <laughs> and, and, and here it's funny. It's, it's just a glorified version of a screwdriver. Yeah. You know, I was going to say it just has something else added into it, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. an additional, which I have to tell you, told me the, it was Galliano. I could not find it. So the person at the store told me to try Sambuca. So okay. I don't know. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> they didn't have it. And I tried two spots and they said they used to carry it. They no longer do because nobody asked but for it. Th was this like, was well, a drink that, that got its height like in the, in the late 60s, early 70s. So we're talking like... Disco ball era, peace signs, you know, yeah. kind of that mix of cultures. And, okay. you know, it's a holiday. During the wine highball years. And yeah. I think, I think it's kind of funny because Harvey Wallbanger, it makes me think of Harvey Weinstein. So it's kind of Wallbanger, <laughs> Weinstein. Similar. Yeah, same same so thing. So, Jess, you're going to walk me through this. I have my, my vodka. Okay. So you're going to do. Oh, God. Here it goes. Okay, you know what? Yeah, 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 We're gonna say. <laughs> so you're gonna do an ounce and a half, which that. That two. That's probably like one and a half. I don't know how big your shot glasses are. It's big. It's a big one. All right, just put a whole shot in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to do, um, half an ounce. So half of that. Galliano. Maybe even. So like a third of that shot glass with your really Sam they told you sambuca? Really? Okay, yeah, all right. That's okay, good. throw that in. See, Galliano has like a nice like floral orangey herby okay. taste. Not thought, orangey. No, no, that would okay. be triple sec. Triple sec is the orange, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna do about four ounces. So do about two of these shot glasses. Yeah, three. Did you say you used to be a bartender, Ike? Yeah, but I I don't have all the the tools in front of me like I did in the in the bar. You really three of these? No, okay, just do two. Yeah, make it nice and strong. <laughs> okay, so then I will get this. Sure. Yep, you could throw some ice in there if you want. 
Yeah, Shake I got it up, stir already. it up. I got ice. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. We got to do this more often. Yeah, I know. I feel like we should have like happy hour like once a week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! This is this, this is why he stuck with comedy and didn't stick with bartending. Cheers! <laughs> All right, here we go. Happy okay. holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Cheers. All right, there we go. Mm. Oh, this is really good. This is refreshing. Mm -hmm. mm. Getting your vitamin C, getting your sugar, so you'll be all hyped up for the rest of the night. Oh, two more of these. I'll be getting vitamin D. <laughs> ah. Harvey Wallbanger. I got to stop watching Sex in the City. Are you watching that? Yeah, I acted. I have to tell you, the first one was a little bit hard to watch, but then the ending really made me a little emotional. Really? I enjoyed, the, I enjoyed her performance. I thought Sarah was very good in it. I don't know. Ah. You know, I, I have this thing against like reboots. Mm -hmm. Or okay. like bringing it back, and you—they brought it back without Kim Cattrall. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Well, the way she's been going on, you know what? Have a couple more of these, like, and you're going to really be talking about Kim Cattrall. Yeah. I, I I just feel like I don't know. She seems to be belly aching all the time about her experience with Sarah Jessica Parker, but everybody else who is not on the show anymore mm -hmm. can't understand why she's going there. Well, I mean, I wasn't Sarah Jessica Parker the one of the writers of the show, or mm -hmm. even one of the directors, or Ex no? executive producer? Okay, she's an executive producer. Yeah, and I feel like I mean, obviously, the majority of the show originally was written with the main, even though they have the four main characters, mm -hmm. it right. really was the life of Carrie. Right. Right. I think it was a little overrated. The mm -hmm. I think it, I, I I do. Or the reboot. Oh, God. Oh, the uh, show. I, the yeah, show, the show itself. I think I, at first it was wonderful, but then it just, after a while, it was time for it to be done. No reason yeah. to bring it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I loved it. I even loved the movies. I didn't like the second one. I loved the oh, first movie. I didn't see the movie. Uh, the first one was incredible. I loved it. Totally. There's incredible. more than one. There's huh. two. Huh? Yeah. The second one, they go to Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. uh, with the, all the characters are in it. Uh, then they waited about 11 years and then they did. And just like that, without Kim Cattrall, mm -hmm. and I'm I guess enjoying, without right? Mr. Big, without yeah, mm -hmm. who, spoiler, <laughs> yeah, on the Peloton, who obviously yeah. deserved to leave from all these allegations. Now, it's got to be a Hollywood thing. Why, yeah, Jess? Because you and I are completely open to it. <laughs> I, I think I I think there's a, there's a point where, and I, obviously it's not everybody, but it's. It's one of those areas where, for some reason, a lot of people, such as Chris, who played Mr. Big, after a while, they don't do as much anymore, and they're getting older. Right. And I think at that point, they're still living as if they're that character and uh -huh. don't have a good reality check. Okay. But they still think they can get away with everything. Yeah. He he is... Well, obviously, he hasn't done this for 11 years, but he went on to another show. I forget what the name of it is. Uh, wildly huge yeah. as well. Uh, but sexual allegations. Tim, I don't know if you knew that. Mr. Yeah. Big. Yeah. yeah. So th I think it's quite hysterical for Peloton <laughs> because their stock crashed when he died on the Peloton after getting off of yeah. it. Their stock went down. He decided to become the spokesperson for them, put this incredible commercial out that he's still alive. Peloton stock goes up. The next day, the sexual <laughs> allegations come out. <laughs> so they let him yeah, go. Their, their, their Peloton commercials are getting more of a workout than their Peloton is. <laughs> Absolutely. Good for you. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, I'm just waiting for Charlie Brown's Christmas to come on. Can you please tell me when? Uh, I don't know when, but hopefully, first of all, I'm a Jew. <laughs> so, let's, let's remember. It's a good know. story, though, Jess. I know. It really is. Yeah. But I, I do love Charlie Brown Christmas. I and his little dinky Charlie tree. Brown. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving was great. I, I haven't seen The great these. pumpkin patch. Yeah. The great pumpkin. Yeah. I like the yeah. great pumpkin. The Easter beagle. 
Yeah, that's good too. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, they, you can't go wrong with with the Peanuts cartoons. You can't. And look yeah. how ahead of the times they were. Peppermint Patty and and the the, ben and... the lesbian <laughs> lover that she had. Oh, come on. Yeah. Marcy. Marcy. Yeah. I we we always used to make fun of my mother whenever she would get her hair cut. It, she looked like Marcy. <laughs> so my sister and I are like, "Hello, sir." <laughs> <laughs> yep, I remember her saying that all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, uh, we used to do that. But they they were. I mean, it, Everybody was, you know, you had people like Dr. Seuss. He was ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. Um, Shel Silverstein ahead Mm -hmm. of his time. You know, the, the creator, not only of this, but I mean, look at the Simpsons. Yeah. I mean, they called everything for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, Aren't they approaching 30? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 87, 87. Mm -hmm. And And Bart is still in fourth grade. Yeah. 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 Which I mean, like he looks great. Anyone. Listen, <laughs> let, let's let's not knock it. I'm dating a guy that's still in fourth grade. So. <laughs> I'll tell you something. But I mean, think about it. They called um, women's rise in politics. Mm-hmm. They've called the they called the virus. Mm-hmm. Right. They called mm-hmm. Bitcoin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, they really do have. They were ahead of it. They all are. And for us, mm-hmm. we watch it, and it seems so crazy at the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, who was it? George Orwell, who wrote 1984? Yes. Oh. Was yes. it George Orwell? Yep. Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. Yep. yep. And, I mean, Jesus. I know. The only thing that we're missing is the Jetsons, because if we only get those cars flying, <laughs> they'd be on point as well. They could totally do it. Yep. They could totally do it. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the self-driving cars. I think yeah, I know. that's a little that means- crazy. I don't I don't think that people should be able to play video games while they're driving. No. <laughs> I mean, no. call me crazy. No. No. I miss the you miss the exit, bitch. No, I mm-hmm. miss those. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But that would be kind of cool just to be able to jettison above everything and get rid of you yeah. know, traffic. Totally. Be ahead of no, the game. I mean it would now that would be literally cruise control where you just punch in your destination on your gps and then you take a nap and it'll drive yeah <laughs> well, i mean that isn't that what pilots do now they just yeah pretty much yeah you know yeah but that's i mean but at least they still have to have their their hands there in case there's a problem mm-hmm. right they can't just walk away from the mm-hmm. four three four hundred passengers they have on the plane mm-hmm. absolutely yeah, they're back in first class partying it up Woo-hoo! cheers that's- that's Hockey gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be Good Tim for you. Tim's gonna be the pilot. Yes, <laughs> I will be the stewardess. Is that where you're going with this? And I'm gonna sit in first class. You're gonna be the you're gonna be the boss, Jess. I'll be the boss. Don't forget yeah. to slap him on the ass as he walks by. <laughs> oh, you know what? I get to, I I can be the who's the security people? The oh, grand the marshal. marshal. The marshal. You want to be the marshal? Oh, yeah. that, that that's yeah. a real I could see you doing that for sure. Yeah. We should do a sketch. That would be a sketch right there. When we get oh together during the summer, yeah. And yeah. Do our uh, thing. Uh, hopefully before that, Jess. I would hopefully really like that. that. But yeah. I mean, but I mean when we do our thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, totally. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Good call. Yeah, we'll because I'm that. telling you something. I would I would be outstanding in that situation. All those people that come on and, and try yes, and right. you know assault the, the stewardesses and stewards. Or flight attendants for, you know, when they call them out for not wearing a mask. Oh, man. I would have a great time. It'd be like no, being a right? teacher all over again. Yeah. Um, you Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, God. This drink is delicious. So what Tim and I have been doing this entire episode is we're reflecting and we're going back and thinking about all our episodes and some of our favorite our things. Guests and- what was a highlight for you for 2021? Just in general, mm-hmm. I don't think I had one. <laughs> twenty twenty-one. I, I feel like twenty twenty-one just kind of. I mean, my my highlight seriously was was watching, um, was watching inauguration day. I was gonna. That say. was my highlight. Mm-hmm. I was so proud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, really, I mean, twenty twenty-one. I just feel like between between. 2020 and 2021 i feel like it's kind of just you know yeah 
Mm-hmm. Kind of, kind of been like tumbleweed in the desert. Yeah. It just, <laughs> you know, I, I think it was great once, once people got their shots. Like once I got my shot, I can tell you, I cried mm-hmm. that day. I was so happy. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, I think for that alone, just you getting your, your double vaccinations, you did get double, mm-hmm. right? You had uh, Moderna, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you got boosted. So just even those two shots, something must have been iconic in your eyes that you were able to do that you were maybe a little afraid to do prior. Oh, I couldn't wait to hug my parents. There you go. I was so excited. I was at that, that first hug that I got to give my parents. After like a whole year. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. It's it's crazy how like normally we're like, Oh, I achieved this or I did this. And yeah, now I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure you guys, too it's like yeah. wow i got to hug my parents or i got to hug my best friend or mm-hmm. you know got to see the grandkids you know right. i think it's i think mm-hmm. 2021 has become a little bit more personal of a remembrance yeah than yeah. any other year that that we've all been a part of yeah i agree mm-hmm. yeah and that's why i think it's the little things like some people would say oh you know my job i got a promotion no Seeing your parents, seeing somebody you haven't been able to touch or, or or say hello to in person for over a year and a half. Sit down in a restaurant. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, at least for yeah. a short amount of time. <laughs> yeah, but still, it just it, those things are yeah. And yeah. now it's just a little scary, too, with everything going on now, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Rockettes are closing. I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Broadway's done. closed, right? Broadway's yeah. closing down, yeah. They closed. I know they, some of the schools here are already starting virtual learning again. Yep, again. And yep. some of the Philadelphia restaurants, I think, closed. Yeah, for yeah. just for right um, now. Uh, they're going to be closing down. I, or from what I understand, they're going to be closing down um, Times Square for New Year's Eve. Wow. Well, they, they'll probably have the 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 performances, but I don't think they're going to have the the crowd. Which is so odd because so last year tomorrow. at this time, before vaccinations, mm-hmm. weren't was it still closed Times Square? I don't. I don't, honestly yeah, don't. I remember. don't think you had New Year's last year. I don't, I don't. I think they had the performance, they did. Yeah. right? But they, I don't. I think they had limited. It was. It was right. very limited. Yeah. Tim, I think you need to go on New Year's Eve. I think you need to go to Times Square and do a performance yourself. Okay. Yes. Just take your yeah. phone, set it up, dance your ass off. Cheers okay. to that. I, mm-hmm. I swear to God, that's a good one. Get down there. Okay. At some point, mm-hmm. do New York, New York. There we go. There you go. Okay. I love that. What what were your highlights? My highlight, and not as nice as yours, but for me, it was <laughs> to be on stage again. Mm-hmm. I felt when Tim and I hit New York City, it was just the most incredible feeling. Mm-hmm. We we had a blast up there, and it just it made me feel like God. All those virtual shows, yeah, were just. Mm. You know, you, you appreciate going out and you're performing virtually, but it just was nothing mm-hmm. compared to having an audience in front of you and being on stage. Oh, absolutely. What about you, Tim? Yeah, pretty much the same. Just just getting back in the swing of things. Yeah. I did it a lot earlier than most did. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, because I was kind of out and about, out and about here in the city. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, it it was yeah definitely the return to the stage. Yeah, and and friends and being yes. in, at events with friends that I hadn't seen for like a year and a half mm. or two years, and it was amazing. You know, I remember in I think it was June. Um, my friends and I finally got together, mm-hmm. and mostly everybody was vaccinated, which was great. Uh, but we all had masks on, and it was it was in this restaurant that we normally go to in new hope, you know, it's like a bar restaurant, whatever. And they had a band playing. So we went and my friend said, okay, call and get your tickets. Just tell them to put you at my table. You know, she had them because they know us. Like when we go in there, it's kind of like whatever we want, we get, right. you know, cause they've yep, known us yep. for so long of, of going to this place. So I'm thinking there's going to be like, you know, 10, 15 of us at this table. We had two tables set up of like 50 people. <laughs> uh, huh, huh. Wow. Yeah, we just, we were, we just, we took up like seriously like half of the uh, like restaurant. Yeah, you t- took over. Yeah. 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 And that was exciting. We got to dance and everything. I mean, yeah. I was a little, was a yeah. little skeeved out once I got out of there. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there were some people that were not vaccinated, but uh, that was, you know, pretty early on. 
Uh huh. That was before all this craziness in the past, yeah. you know, week. Mm, but yeah. um, but that was fun because that's something that I miss. You know, we used to get together and go dancing, hands down, all the I time. Know, right. And mm, well, uh, hopefully this is not going to be a long, uh, a longer period like it was last. Oh time. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it won't be nearly as long. I don't think. I say just just hightail it, get us to spring, mm -hmm. so we can be outdoors again. Well, Tim and, Tim and I are going for a big to ass North party. Carolina at the end of January mm -hmm. doing uh, Fifty Shades of Gay out there. So yeah. cheers to that. Hopefully you have happens. to stop traveling. <laughs> you travel too much. I love it. Oh I know. God. I know. So do I. But I ain't getting no. in a plane or a train <laughs> or an automobile. What are you, Dr. Seuss now? <laughs> hey, listen. Why not? <laughs> I'm drinking well, enough. I just I'm not smoking a joint, but I'm drinking enough. Yeah, yeah. enough <laughs> I, I'm telling you, this is probably next to sex with Jess, number two. Yeah, <laughs> I I was gonna go for the chocolate martini because you guys still haven't had that yet, but I want to save that for when we're yeah, all actually in together person, in yeah. person. And, I will and, have, and I will that's have one of those. Oh, Tim, I'm sure you will have more than one of those. <laughs> oh, um, you're gonna be on your ass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that I want to, but it'll hit you. Uh -huh. yeah. it'll it'll hit you you can't you won't even taste it you can't even tell it's yeah. like drinking a beautiful chocolate milkshake mm. and you're not even gonna know you're gonna be like this is great and like you'll be like three down this is great mm -hmm. <laughs> that's gonna be you that now, is did you ever have me. chocolate cake it's frangelica vodka and of course oh, <laughs> delicious <laughs> it tastes like effing chocolate cake it's really good mm -hmm. it's really good i got yeah Chocolate, chocolate is my. I'm not a sweets person, but chocolate is my downfall. So if there's if there's a drink with chocolate in it, I'm on it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, we'll be trying it sooner than later. That's for sure with you. I know. I yep. can't wait. I can't wait to see you guys. I know. So Bye. Jess, we have been doing uh, throughout the show awards. Uh, we're giving out another award uh, to somebody who is the most viewed episode since we started in February of 2021. Okay. Uh, we're going to break down the top six most watched on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Tim, do you want to start? Sure. Sure. Um, the top six most watched on YouTube. Um, at number six was episode two, which is Dreams Come True with Carol Eda White. Oh, I love I her. I love her. Yeah, uh, the number five was episode 18, Strictly Sheena with Adam Matera. Mm -hmm. Number four was episode one, We're Virgins Again, our <laughs> first episode. Yes. And episode uh, number three was episode three, The Check is in the Mail with Jezebel. Uh, at number two, episode 15, Let's Get to It with Empress. Yes. yes. And the number one spot is the most watched episode on YouTube, YouTube, episode eight. Joan Rivers is a man with Gary D. Yay! <laughs> Your doorbell again. I know, Tim, this is getting ridiculous. How many people do we know? Oh, my God, they love us. <gasps> Who could it be? I don't know. Oh, Ike, Tim, it's me, Vicky Villaness. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. But happy holidays to all of us over here at the Shade Parade. We look forward to having so many more episodes and maybe a crossover with you boys in the new year. Happy New Year. Tim, I think we talked about like our favorite episodes, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we uh, yeah. there, there's so many. There were so many fun, uh, fun times on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, one of our episodes with Jess was a blast. You know, we yeah. had, Always. I got to make a wonderful drink and we talked about everything <laughs> from politics to sex and everything that you're not supposed to talk about, like at work or like on a date, is yeah. pretty much what I talk about. Amen. Sex, politics, Amen. religion. Yeah. I, I did it tonight. Yes. <laughs> I threw in the religion aspect. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> got it covered. I don't know why people think it's so wrong. Well, people are usually, it polarizes, you know, people usually, those are three things that people usually have very strong opinions, opinions. on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like my, my mother was telling me today, you know, that sometimes some of 
Uh, she noticed some of her friends don't necessarily get offended, but kind of take it the wrong way when somebody says Merry Christmas to them. And mm-hmm. it's like, they can't tell you're a Jew by looking at you. <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> and really my, my mom was like, yeah, she's like, I've never gotten offended. I just figure people are wishing me well. I said, well, yeah. I'd rather them say Merry Christmas to me than get out of my way, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'll take Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. I, I never understood the whole thing, too, with everybody saying Happy Holidays. Because, well, I, that I goes for, you know, people who don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah. But, you know, it's funny because in the 70s, when I was growing up, I was probably seven or eight. And most mm-hmm. of the greeting cards then were mm-hmm. Seasons Greetings. Because Seasons Greetings was also considered a card company, so they were just spreading their brand. Yeah, but ha- even mm-hmm. Happy Holidays, Seasons Greetings. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, where was where was the issue? Like now, all of a sudden today, nobody's saying Merry Christmas. Well, they weren't saying it back in the seventies. They were saying Seasons Greetings, and Hallmark right. was taking advantage of it as well. Oh yeah. Well, I I think that there's 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 a difference because holiday season is so long and there was a time where it was like say happy hanukkah say merry christmas say happy kwanzaa mm-hmm. because everybody want listen we are at a time now where everybody needs to just come back together just say happy holidays take care of it all one full shot christmas yeah. is only one freaking day right. kwanzaa is seven days right and hanukkah, hanukkah is, is eight. eight days so mm-hmm. happy holidays and you got thanksgiving yeah. right yeah. there and you got new year's yeah. Just lump it all together, yeah, get man. the show on the road, yeah, and get I us mean, to some warm weather. That's yeah. that's it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Listen, Amen. girls. I <laughs> I walked Nacho this morning. It was 21 degrees. All right. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought did. I was gonna <laughs> die. It was freezing out there. Yeah. Oh, I had like seven layers on. I looked like a Christmas story when when the kid was in like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to walk my dog. It was awful. <laughs> You, you couldn't even see me like I had a scarf around my face. I should have just had a mask on. You just see my eyes. Mm-hmm. Well, Jess, Jess, we love you so much. Thank you for oh. doing our season finale with us. For Absolutely. Loose Lips. I love you guys. And, oh, love we you love you too. more than anything. And Tim, cheers to oh, yeah. season one. Cheers. Yes. Season Happy one. holidays to all of you out there. Thank you for listening and watching. Jess, thank you again for joining us. In- Showing us how to make a Harvey Wallbanger hyphen Weinstein. There you go. (laughs) I love you guys. I love you. Happy holidays, everybody. We'll see you next year. You know what that sound means. I know. Oh, my God. Another surprise guest, Tim. Happy holidays. Hi, everybody. It's Wendy and Louise. And look. We got a Christmas card from Tim and I from Loose Lips. I'm so excited. Let's see what it says. Rocking around with Tim and I have a happy holiday. Sitting here listening to both of them because you never know what they say. Oh, you do know what they'll say. One thing you can count on and you all know this is true. You'll be so caught up in laughing, sitting there, you might start gasping. <gasps> Tim and I, I say to you, have a happy holiday. Keep your lips loose when you talk, and you'll dish the day away. La 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 la